Today we are making healthy Rice Krispie treats. So whether you have kids or want to feel like a kid again, it's going to be a simple, minimal, although a little expensive way to enjoy that treat. And if you go into Whole Foods, any type of health food store, you'll see, you know, healthier organic versions of these treats, but there's usually a couple of ingredients in there, at least one that you don't want to be putting in your body. And they also don't taste that great. Plus you're, you're still paying quite a bit of money for them. So let me show you guys the ingredients. This might actually be the simplest recipe we've ever done because you only need three ingredients, grass fed butter, organic marshmallow and organic rice puffs. Now you could make your own marshmallow fluff yourself. It's more of like a complicated kind of laboratory process. So it can be a little bit difficult to do. Same with the rice puffs. Like I'm sure you could fry these up and figure out how to make them yourself, but this makes it a whole lot easier. I think the rice puffs were three or $4. Uh, this was kind of expensive marshmallow fluff, about $8, and the butter should be around $4. So all in, you're spending about $25 to make quite a bit of Rice Krispie treats. So first, I'm just going to butter my ceramic dish. This doesn't have to be baked. We're just going to pop it in the fridge. So with six tablespoons of butter, we want 16 ounces of marshmallow fluff. And I don't know how they made this, but it's kind of separating. It has a very sweet vanilla smell. And if you're curious about the ingredients in this, it's tapioca syrup, sugar, water, egg whites, and vanilla extract. So I'm sure you could just pop all of those ingredients into the blender and make this for a whole lot cheaper price. I think we did an organic s'more recipe too a while ago uh, where you guys might have seen me use this. And while that's melting, we can measure out our seven cups of puffed rice. Now these are kind of big, so I guess you could throw them in the food processor for a little while if you wanted to. I'm kind of just swirling the butter in the pan to melt it evenly into the marshmallow. You know, stuff like this is better for, you know, occasional treat or someone that has a hard time gaining weight. You know, it's very calorically dense, concentrated in fat and sugar. There we go. So it's mixed together, all buttery, sticky and sweet, still a little bit warm. So it's still pliable. All right, so the main reason we buttered this ceramic pan is so hopefully after we put this in the fridge overnight, in the freezer a little while even, this comes right out so we can cut it nice and easily. Hi, YouTube people. So the Rice Krispies have sat in the fridge overnight and I have my official taste tester here this morning. Hi, So YouTube she's people. gonna have her second breakfast Actually, of Rice Krispie or treats. Third. Fourth or third, depends on the day. <laughs> that is one thick. Oh, it's oh sticky. Okay. Oh. Mm. So I mentioned earlier, maybe blitz up the rice crisp a little bit, or they might even have some like rice cereal at your health food store that's a little tinier in size. Uh, but this is still good. It's delicious. And it's a lot healthier than having those blue wrapped Rice Krispie treats. And that's a bit of an understatement. You're dodging all of the potential agrochemicals that could have been sprayed on all of the components of it. You're removing any of the actual preservatives and chemicals they add mm. while they're making it. And mm. this is also probably about the same price as if you were to buy, you know, this amount of actual Rice Krispie treats. And I think it's even higher in fat. So instead of, you know, dousing your kid's stomach, with sugar and carbohydrates, at least you're giving them some high quality saturated fats from the grass fed butter. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, definitely let me know how you like this. And mm. if you have any other recipe ideas that you would like me to try over the next few weeks, I'm thinking of doing a hamburger bun sometime soon, uh, but I've been procrastinating because it's a little difficult to do. Uh, so if you guys could go to frankdestefano.com, you can check out all of my businesses and support me through those. Outside of that, thanks again for joining me guys. And I'll see you for tomorrow. Mm.